Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will walk you through the strategy that I follow to optimize cloud costs for my clients. I follow the same strategy for startups, mid-scale organizations, even for large-scale companies. In today's video, I'll also talk about common cloud mistakes that companies do, which leads to heavy cloud costs. So if you're into DevOps and cloud, you can use this list as a check mark when you're working on cloud cost optimization project in the future. This video is definitely going to be interesting. Make sure you watch it till the end. Let's get started. So the strategy that I follow is the home saving strategy. Let me explain. Imagine you run a middle class family and you want to reduce your monthly expenses or you want to save on your monthly expenses. Instead of randomly reducing an expense, what you actually do is you perform cost analysis or expense analysis. So let's say your monthly expenses are around 10K. So you go back for the last two months, three months, or if possible, for the last six months, you list down all your requirements, essentials, even recreational activities. And against these things, you also list down the expenses so that you get a very clear understanding of where did you spend this 10K. So the first thing that you would do is to perform cost analysis to get a clear understanding of your costs. Now, once you have this, because you have a list of all the things where actually are you spending, you can remove the most obvious ones. Let's say in this case, you can remove going out and watching the movies. After that, you will focus on the most important ones or you will focus on the things where you are actually spending more. Let's say in this case, you spend 8K on groceries and 2K on rest of the other things. So even if you spend a lot of time and focus on reducing your spend on all of these, let's say you are able to reduce 20%, that would only come to 400. Whereas if you spend time on this and if you'll be able to reduce even 10% of your expense on this, you will be able to reduce 800. So that's why it is important to focus on the most important ones. Then focus on any wrong or bad practices. You know, once you focus on the most important ones and you get output from it, you focus on removing the most obvious ones, focus on wrong or bad practices. Let's say in this case, just for example, fuel for vehicles. Imagine you want to go from point A to point B. You go from point A to point B every day, but you take the longest path. But you can also take a short path. So if you take the short path, just like in the long path, how you move from point A to point B, even in this case, you go from point A to point B, but you will save on the fuel. So focus on any bad practices. Finally, look for any alternate solutions. Now, sometimes you might have alternate solutions. You might also be able to find some discounts. Let's say for shopping, eating out, movies. You know, if you cannot eliminate some things, look for alternatives or discounts. This is what we all usually do to save on the monthly expenses. Now, I try to apply the same strategy for cloud cost optimization. How? If you look at these points carefully, you can actually apply them for saving the cloud costs. Like the first one, cost analysis and understanding the cost. This is 
very very critical because if you want to reduce cloud costs you should actually have a clear understanding of where your organization is spending and how much are they spending on each of the services so what i usually do whenever i work with a client i try to get their last 2 to 3 years cloud costs so basically you can get it from cost explorer or every cloud platform has billing service from that you can actually get your last 2 to 3 years cloud expenses now within this you will have list of services and expense against each of the service so take a note of it and try to save it in a place so that later you can focus on removing the most obvious ones let's say there are some glittery services or there are some services which your organization might not need you know they are super less important but your organization is just maintaining them so you can focus on removing those things you know it can be some unused volumes it can be some unused snapshots which nobody is using but they are just maintaining it for unnecessary backups nobody is really sure if they actually need it they don't need it so you can look at the cloud costs and if you see some less important ones you can just check with the organization try to gather information of it is still important and focus on removing those things then as i explained here if you want to aggressively reduce or if you want to aggressively save cloud cost for organization you should always focus on the most important ones that's why whenever i work with my clients the first thing that i focus is on kubernetes because most of the times organizational spend is on the kubernetes or database and volumes from my experience this is where organization usually spend more so i always try to focus on these items so that i can help them save a lot of money then focus on any bad practices now this is very common for example organizations usually go for wrong instance type i have seen some organizations they go for gpus even when they actually don't need it or organizations going for just for example t2 large where they can actually go with t2 medium so this is the most obvious ones where they don't need it but you know because of some wrong practices because they are not completely aware they go with wrong instance types and they end up losing money or they end up burning money and finally i also suggest organizations with discounts alternative tools for example let's say they are using tool a i cannot take names here but let's say they are using tool a which can solve a problem but there is also tool b in the market which can solve the same problem but this can solve the problem at better cost i would suggest the organizations to go with tool b in this case this is also very important if you are working on cloud cost not only looking at places where you can save but also recommending any alternate solutions where they can save money but instead of doing this what a lot of people do is they start with tools but to be honest when it comes to finops or cloud cost optimization there is no single tool tools always depends on areas where you want to reduce the cloud costs let me list out some common areas where organizations go wrong which leads to heavy cloud costs and i'll also talk about tools that you can use to reduce the cloud costs in that areas first and most important one is kubernetes most of the companies over provision their kubernetes clusters for example they have six worker nodes but 
each worker node is only utilized 10%. So what you can do obviously here is introduce auto scaling using Carpenter. So in this case, Carpenter is your tool for optimizing the costs. Even organizations choose wrong instance type for their Kubernetes clusters, even that can be optimized using Carpenter. Another common area where organizations go wrong is unused volumes. This is very, very common. This happens because developers usually create some volumes. Over the period of time, they forget that they have created the volume and this volume is unused maybe for six months, one year and group of such volumes are left behind. So what you can do as DevOps engineer in this case is probably write some Python script or use serverless functions like Lambda to identify unused volumes through some script and eliminate them or basically delete such volumes. So in this case, the tool that you use is Python or the programming language using serverless functions. Another common area where organizations go wrong is choosing wrong easy to instance type. Organizations always need not to be on Kubernetes. Some organizations also run their workloads on virtual machines, but they choose wrong virtual machine instance type. Again, they spin up virtual machines, but only 30% of the virtual machine is utilized. I mean the resources. Even in this case, you can use auto scaling if bunch of virtual machines are used or maybe if these virtual machines are created using Terraform, you can go to the Terraform scripts and correct the instance type. So in this case, Terraform is a tool that can help you with cloud cost optimization. Along with that, another common practice that organizations do is they always choose premium storage types. I've seen this with companies that, you know, whenever they deal with critical services, just to be sure, they use critical storage classes. For example, if they have data stored in S3 or maybe they have data stored in other storage services, they always go for premium storage classes. But as DevOps engineer, as cloud engineer, it is your responsibility to validate the importance if they actually need that premium storage class. If not, you can basically share the better practice. In this case, a just config change or change in the Terraform scripts is good enough. Another wrong practice, I'm sharing all of them from my freelancing experiences. You know, another common one, data transfer costs. I've seen many organizations are unaware of it. Basically, when organizations set up HA, high availability, this can be across availability zones or across regions, they don't realize that there is a hidden cost that is for data transfers. I'll share you a very simple example. Organizations have their Kafka setup. Organizations have their databases setup. And these Kafka instances are databases replicating the data across different zone in the HA setup or across different availability zones. This actually leads to hidden costs. Now, if you replicate the data within an availability zone, if you try to write from one instance to volume within the same availability zone, this does not lead to data transfer cost. But if you have instance in one availability zone and volume in different availability zone, along with the charges for the volume, AWS or cloud providers also charge you for data transfer that is between one availability zone and other availability zone. Lot of people are not aware of this data transfer cost and they're actually huge. So 
as devops or cloud engineer you can educate teams on this data transfers and tell them if not required try to place the volumes and instances in the same availability zone or if not required eliminate or reduce the data transfer between availability zones or regions sixth one and again important one when it comes to wrong practices by the organization is choosing databases or creating databases for even small things lot of times we want to go with decentralized approach or today in the world of microservices we always want to go with decentralized approach and because of this decentralized approach organization set up databases for every small thing but it is important to note databases are super expensive so you can recommend to share the databases when there is a possibility final one of course there are few more but i'm only trying to cover the most important ones is log rotation logs look small but you know there are multiple applications these days let's say your organization has 20 applications 100 applications and all of them are writing logs you might feel that these logs are tiny and they are being stored to some volumes but imagine tons of logs being saved to those volumes every minute end of the day they would create gbs of volumes so always try to implement log rotation that is try to save the logs in the zip files or try to take backup of the logs in the tar files so that you don't spend a lot on the cloud for saving these log files so it is always important to implement the log rotation also if not required don't run the applications in debug because when your applications are running in debug again they are adding a lot of logs to the storage so these are some common mistakes that organizations usually do.